Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we have an unboxing. Unboxing and an unbagging. And uh, I can't think of a more beautiful place to do it, right? So, these are gonna be some Rough Riders. We're gonna get right into this. Since these are Rough Rider knives, we're gonna use a Rough Rider to open them. This is the Rough Rider Reserve Rhino Toe, which is actually a pretty cool knife. What should we get into first? Um, now there's a better look at the unboxing knife. We'll focus on there. There we go. Let's go ahead and get into the bag first. Fantastic unboxing knife with the uh, the Warncliffe blade there. Here we go. Rough Rider High Carbon Series. Now I, I heard what Rough Rider's High Carbon Steel is a while ago, but uh plain forgot what it is, so bear with me, I guess. Rubber band, that's nice. You know, Rough Riders, I've been really getting into. They're cheap, they're pretty good quality for the price. Ooh, yeah. And uh, especially now it's getting to be around the holidays, great gift knives. I'm feeling this a few days before Thanksgiving, actually. I'll try to have this video out before before too long, you know, give you guys some gift giving ideas. Here's a knife. Now I love the um, trapper pattern and I want to try something a little bit different with it. Okay, so here's the knife. We've got a nice little lanyard with the, pretty sure it's a plastic bead, but okay. This is the bow trapper. Ooh, look at those red. There's red there in the, under the scales. I'm not sure if you'll want to focus on that or not. Wow. Okay, let's get these blades out. Okay, no half stops. Very light pull. Okay, so these are the, um, like with the uh, the rhino toe here. It takes quite a bit of pressure to get down there, and then there's a half stop. This knife, no half stop at all. More like a case knife. It just has a pull. Very comfortable, though really comfortable i love that bow that that bowed blade the uh the little curve there okay that's nice let's see what the other blade is the, the spay blade Ooh, that looks good that looks good comfortable like this too okay you know what i imagine it probably says the steel on one of these blades No, no, it looks like it doesn't. Um, geez, I should have brought some paper over here. We could test the sharpness. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab some paper. I'm back. I bet it didn't look like I went anywhere at all, did it? But I did. And now we have our National Geographic sacrificial paper. Get this everywhere. Don't want to litter. Let's see the test of the sharpness on the clip point blade. That looks really nice. Pretty sharp. Let's get out the spay blade. Very nicely finished, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Not sure if those are focusing super well, but there's the first one down. Go ahead and get into the box. Don't want to show off any address information. Okay, oh wow. We have a box in a box, a little bit of box section there. Rough Rider Reserve. I know what that one is. And what is this? I know what this is. That is not what I thought it was gonna be at. Okay, hmm. Let's get into this one first. This is gonna be the mini congressman. Uh, when they said mini, I did not know that they meant, holy crap. <laughs> what? It's tiny. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. So yeah, we've got like amber bone. 
So the congressman pattern have a nice little fob here you can put on your lanyard. Let's see if I can get any of these blades out. <laughs> There's one blade. Wow. I, I when they said mini, I did not know that they were meaning this mini. That's absolutely insane. That's tiny. <laughs> That's crazy. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll do a review on this knife, but uh, that is ridiculous. The fan finish seems okay. I mean, a $9 knife and it's very small. The blade centering is all over the place. In fact, this one blade looks like it's bent. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. I'm trying to get this camera to focus, but it just wants to focus on the trees behind me. Wow. <laughs> it's tiny. Okay. I mean, that whole thing is as big as the blade on the... Jeez, that is tiny. Okay. All right. So, note to self. If they say mini, they mean mini. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Let's get into this one next. Sleeve. The Rough Rider High Plains Genuine Bone Series. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Eee! Fit it in there pretty good. You have the little foam thing, and then it's magnetically sealed. This was also not a very expensive knife. Very good packaging, as always, but oh, wow. Yeah, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Look at the milling on that wood or the bone. I'm not sure if it's going to come through or not. Yeah, there you can see it. That's nice. Okay. Double pulls on the blade. Half stop. Very light pull. Yeah, very, very light. But it does have a half stop. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Very uh, fingerprinty blades. This, this mirror finish. Wow, that is that is pretty cool. Okay, and this is a doctor's knife. I don't know if I said that yet. So the other instrument is this. Uh, I think this is like a tongue depressor slash pill crusher type deal. Anyone who knows better. Feel free to tell me because I might not know everything. But yeah, wow, very, very fingerprinty, very marky, but really, really cool. That's really awesome. Okay, now let's get to the Rough Rider Reserve. That's the one, that's the one everyone's been waiting for, right? Yeah, I know it. All right, let's get on to the Rough Rider Reserve. Finally got it open. There we go. Oh, I opened it upside down. That's okay. Ta-da! Oh, that came out pretty nice. So, with the Rough Rider Reserve knives, you get this nice little tin. And, hmm, interesting. So this one did not come the same way that this one did. So this one, as you can see, the knife is right there on top with a cleaning cloth wrapped around it. And then there's a uh, the do not eat, so I'll eat that later. And then there's like a little foam insert in there. When I unboxed this one, the foam insert was there's one on top and on bottom. So maybe that was a fluke, or maybe this one's a fluke. Who knows? But nice packaging, good cleaning cloth. Sounds plasticky under there. Rubber band. cloth comes wrapped in wax paper because the oh. <laughs> oh yes oh my gosh oh wow okay so the <laughs> I'm literally speechless right now so the Rough Rider Reserve line is kind of like 
the high end of Rough Rider. So these knives run between like 45 and 70 bucks, I think. This one here is about $55. They're D2 blades, hence the, the wax paper. And, wow, okay. This is the Swell Belly Whittler, or Swell Center Whittler, I can't remember. Swell Belly, I think. So Rough Rider R Reserve number three, it has this green micarta that's polished beautifully, the nice shield. This is probably my new favorite slip joint. It just looks fantastic. Centering and everything looks really good. You see we have big washers in the pivot up there. Big washer back there, okay. Let's open her up. Oh yeah, look at that blade, oh my goodness. Yes, please. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh, and that's interesting. I have never seen this before. It is actually opening up and locking against both back springs for the other two blades. That is interesting. Very nice blade shape. Love that. Ooh, and I love this too. Look, see this area here? That means you can get your finger up in there and the blade's not going to close. That is very comfortable. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm probably going to EDC this. Wow. Oh, wow. And the fit and finish is fantastic. I'll, I'll say more in the review, but I'm just, I, I'm literally blown away. This is an absolutely gorgeous knife. The half stop and the pull in general are not as rough as, they're, they're not as hard as on the Rhino Toe, which is okay because this knife can sometimes be a little bit hard to open. This is exactly where I'd want it. It does have enough resistance. And again, when you can get your finger up there. Oh, wow. Wow. This is, this is fantastic. Whew, nice snap. Yeah, me likey, me likey a lot. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's open up some of these other blades. Okay, so then we have kind of a, a pin blade here. Very light spring on this one, but that's okay. I don't think this knife is, or this blade is be used very much, very hard. Pretty light spring on it. Um, does have a half stop. Very snappy retention. And then a little worn cliff. Ooh, yeah. In fact, geez, I actually broke my thumbnail off opening this guy earlier. I just realized I've been growing out my nails <laughs> to open this guy up, but um, not really needed here. Wow, that's just, oh, wow. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. We forgot to do cutting. I brought this paper out here for nothing, I guess, because we forgot to cut stuff. Okay, let's um, <laughs> let's grab the little tiny guy. We want to test all four blades. I think we'll just test one. If one blade is sharp, we'll assume they all are. <laughs> okay, we're going to test another one. Just because. Oh, man, that was... Oh man, oh man. I might actually put that on my keychain. I haven't decided yet. And then uh, let's get the doctor's knife back out here. I put him back in his his box. Go away, spider. <laughs> I'll probably edit all that out. What is that? I thought it was a spider dangling on a web, but flying around. It's November. What are you doing? Ruining my video. That's what it's doing. I see you. I'll kill you, son of a gun. Anyways, <laughs> onto the doctor's knife. Let's see how sharp it is. Nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. 
Got my little paper stuff and my do not eat. Put the doctor's knife back in here. And now let's test the sharpness on the uh, my new favorite slip joint. This is just fantastic. I am going to carry this everywhere. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yes, I see you, piece of paper. You know what? Get it right now. All right, so the main blade is sharp. That's good to know. Let's try the little spear point pin blade. Hmm. Was that me or was that the wind? It's sharp, but it could definitely use a strop. And then... That's the same blade, folks. Oops. Warncliffe is what we wanted this time. It's about the same. It's sharp, but uh, there's one spot right here that I think they missed a little bit. Very sharp. Could use a little bit of a strop. But that main blade, the main blade was, was perfectly fine. Wow. So there we go. You know what? Maybe I'll try and take some close-ups of all these. I'm not sure how good they showed up in the uh, the camera. I might try and take some close-ups, but uh, there's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I certainly did. This knife and me are going to be very good friends. But um, yeah. Until then, thank you. Until what? I guess until the reviews or until you watch my next video, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.